This channel is sponsored by Creality. Go to Creality.com and find all of your 3D printing tools. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I got another episode for you this week. Um, working on the uh, SVJ. Um, also, you're going to see uh, probably in next month or so, uh, we'll be looking back at the McLaren. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, but let's go take a look at the SVJ and uh, what has been done. Now let me answer some of the comments that I've got on this being dry. That is definitely true. And when I go to work this surface, um, I will find those spots, I will find bubbles and whatever, but I can repair those. That's the beauty of the fiberglass. The reason is that I'm using epoxy. Epoxy um, does not have a uh, chemical in it that will break down the binder that is in the chop strand fiber. Uh, thank you for uh, the comment on that because uh, that is a very interesting problem that I did not know exist, existed and now I do. Um, and it's kind of cool because uh, when I was bedding in the uh, cut the sorry fiberglass into the print, you would see that the fibers would try to come apart. And that's because the acetone was actually uh, breaking down the binder. Um, I'll put the binder uh, up here. At least that's what the internet says. And then, uh, so what I've done is recently tried to thin out the epoxy uh, with some acetone. Uh, this helps to wet it out a little bit better, and it also will help break down the binder. So what we've done is we've done the rockers on both sides and uh, started on the rear quarter. So this one has just been laid in. I haven't rolled it out yet, and rolled out all the bubbles yet, but that's coming. I gotta wait for it to tack up a little bit so that when I do roll the bubbles, they actually stick down. I've actually done an initial roll on it. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. And then over here, as you saw the other uh, rocker has been done and now we've done the other quarter panel I just laid the fiberglass on this and so again we'll let it get a little bit tacky and then we'll start rolling it out get out some of those air bubbles um, but it if you look at the um, if you look at this on the rocker you can tell that there's a lot less of this going on uh, so I think it's uh, pretty much working. It's helping to wet it out more and also going to be uh, better bonding and easier to uh, sand, sand the surface. The next thing that's on my list, uh, we just keep moving back. I'm not going to do the bumper just yet, but I will do this upper fascia as well as the wing. And the idea there is to, you can see how wobbly this is. And anytime I lean on these 3D prints, they go crack, crunch, crack. But I can actually put my foot on this one and I cannot hear any of that. Uh, if I were to do that earlier without the fiberglass, it would have just went <coughs> and broke. <laughs> so the stuff is working. It's giving me the support that I want uh, for the 3D prints to make them they don't need to be super strong. They just need to be able to uh, not crack when somebody leans on the car. Uh, so anyway, but uh, yeah, let's get to uh, rolling out those bubbles. Now I've also been 3D printing. You can see in here we've got a grill going. Um, and I actually 3D printed some lenses for the third brake light. Those will have to get uh, glued together. You can obviously see the lenses for uh, the tail lights, which are here. Um, so those all have to be sanded down and bedded in. Uh, I have some of these guys here, and what these are are these are going to be 
Um, basically some, if I can get the right side to go with the right side. <laughs> so these are basically going to be some flanges that I'm going to attach to the uh, panels so that we can bolt them all together uh, nicely. That way we don't have weird brackets or anything. And then we'll fiberglass those in uh, to give them a little bit of strength. Uh, the next thing is, is I'm starting to print the uh, radiator uh, grill. So that's the big side grill that goes on the car, which will all get done in uh, carbon fiber. So stay tuned for that. Well guys, um, that's it for this one. Um, as you can see, we're continuing to move back, forward, back, forward, ah, whatever. Um, the project's moving forward. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, anyway, uh, next up is the rear deck, uh, including the wing. Uh, so we'll get that set up. We're gonna get um, those uh, flanges on, the uh, different uh, panels. Uh, so that we can uh, take everything apart and then start properly uh, basically smoothing out the panels as well as uh, uh, getting them ready for paint. So still got the doors to do, of course, rear bumper and the roof, but uh, we'll get to those in due time. Anyway, like and subscribe. Um, really appreciate all of the comments in helping me uh, make this a better project. You guys are part of this project as well. Uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.